Okay, for as long as I have owned Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I have known that the Mary Lloyd was in this game. And I've been meaning to do this video for months upon months upon months, if not even years now. And I just have not found the window of opportunity. But here we are at the end of summer 2022, and I've finally eked out some time to explore the Mary Lloyd in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And you know, maybe this could be a series. Where else does the Mary Lloyd appear in video game culture? I don't know, we're gonna find out. But I figured we'd uh, make a start and see how the story plays out. So I've just sort of set things up to kind of pick things up um, where this story starts. So we'll, um, we'll see how it goes uh, and see what happens. I thought I'd bring a body Taylor, to the party. There you are. Hello. Here I am. So there's a wedding taking so, place, we know this much. what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. From this point on, I have no idea what's going to happen. So this is kind of cool. There is a Welsh character in here, so there may well be a connection to the Married Lord but through that. And she does speak some Welsh. I bet it was um, quite so it's nice to hear that in the game. You as a pair. We've just been attacked by a large boar. Um... I kept my word to Kunan, and that spatchcock Tefdir lives. Restraint, Tavor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefdir. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. No Mary Lloyd Skull. so far, but we'll Skull. see what happens. So, you invited me to a hoodening. Yeah. What mischief is this? Nigriskalan Vela Sprudjan and Creatures of the Vale. Okay. The Nigriskal of any Vela Sprudjan. So, we dress up like ghosts. Um, looking for treats. That's the passage of Welsh through here. You'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, <laughs> okay. praying for sweets and drink. Turning into a beastie. Ah! It's hardly a disguise. <laughs> Just a cloak and some bones. That's beautiful. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Lude. Now, that's Hooden. The Mary Lude? The Mary Lude. The spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shame. I Look heard your voice clear as a bell. Locks fall from the sky in envy. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I'll fill your shop with sheep. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, so. So this is my first look at the kind of the Mary Lloyd, obviously a little bit different. Um, not on a stick, um, which is, <laughs> you know, the, the more conventional. But we've got the, we've got the decorated head, which is kind of cool. But that's about it. Um, so I'm going to go knocking on doors as the Mary Lloyd. That house for sure. All right, we'll give it a go. Or treat. What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lloyd. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mary Lloyd haunts my door. Oh, that's quite cool. So, okay. So if you if you're unfamiliar with the Mary Lloyd tradition, um, it's not just to do with uh, a horse's skull, um, worn or carried, <laughs> but. The thing that I've always argued about the Mary Lloyd is the thing that makes it distinct, especially in a Welsh context, um, is what's called um, the punko, um, this spontaneous rhyming competitive verse. And you know, throughout Assassin's Creed Valhalla, there is sort of rhyming competitive verse that runs throughout the whole thing. Um, but this, I think, is the closest we're probably going to get to uh, the punko. Let me move myself out of the way. So there we go. So we've got the narrative here. Um, options. I, I wasn't even paying attention to what he said. Give me sweets, candy treats, the kind I must adore. The air is chilling, the ghosts are spilling all across the Missy Moor. I wasn't really paying attention to what he said, so I'll go with that one. Give me sweets and candy treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then, 
Sweets for the Mari Luid. You've earned it. <laughs> okay, so that's coming. Playing the role of trickster spirit. Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. <laughs> I hope she does. That would be awesome if she does. These guys are fighting. Cut it out. Right, where next? Where are we going? Next house. That one's not locked. Oh, those look kind of locked. Is that one locked? That also looks locked. I'm gonna go there. Then, through the mist of the night, they saw a woman at the crossroads, dressed oh. all in white. And the children knew they should not have been out in the late and in the dark. So they bent low to the ground. It's Erladi Wen. That's right, my love. Erladi Wen, the white lady. Her dark eye fell upon the children and. <laughs> Which is why none of you should run out alone to the woods tonight. You will stay in sight of the tree and the wicker man, yes? Yes, Mother Mordred. Yeah. Yes, Mother Modren. Now, the first of you to bring me back a candy chestnut shall have a treat. That's cool. So I love that storytelling element coming in. Very nice. There's definitely a, a locked door. I mean, I you can see a bit, mil a bit more of the Mary Lloyd at the start of this, but... Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. Oh, I don't get to perform. Ah, that sucks. Okay, I got... Uh, lads getting into their cups, scaring the wee ones. All right, this one. I think that's the last door. <gasps> I was messing around earlier looking for locked doors. So I had found this one. Eivor, mighty warrior, knocker of doors, victor <laughs> of cakes. How does it feel to pillage what is freely given? A worthy haul. And a tradition worth keeping up. Exactly, a tradition worth keeping up. This is, this is a unique version of the Mary Lloyd, but nonetheless, still pretty cool to see it. I have come to rhyme with you. In the gloaming, see her roaming hidden neath the hood. Do we dwelling, fate fulfilling? It's the Mary. Oh, yeah, see, this is tricky because it's not how it's supposed to be pronounced. I'm gonna go with this Never on principle. Who is knocking, wanting something good? Oh, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I... Look at these cakes, sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this, Gunnar. My cakes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This is gonna take some time to track him down. Alone with your thoughts at last. Eivor! <laughs> Perhaps. Every moment is sweeter when you are the Harvest King. All this bounty. Soon, I will join it. But eat, drink, enjoy all that Glowichester's lush woods offer. Are we gonna kill this guy? I'm, I'm kind of getting a, a, a sacrifice -y vibe here at this point. Still can't find Guna with my cakes. Where the hell is Guna with my cakes? I'm guessing he's got to be back around that way somewhere. Oh well. It's your own fault for just hanging out there. It's not my fault. It's just in my nature. Nothing I can do about it. Can I assassinate you? Oh yeah! Okay, in fairness, I might be distracted at this point. I've come to trade barbs for cake and ale. It's past the little ones' bedtimes, and I want to retire. Take your cake and go! <laughs> I love that. There's a good chance that that's happening with some Mary Lloyd gatherings, that it, <laughs> they're going to people's doors and it's just like, nope, take it, leave me alone. I don't want song. 
I don't want nothing. Take some ale, go. There's more doors. We can keep doing this. Oh, hello, little one. The croaking toad hopped down the road, followed by an owl. Ghosts are on the prowl. Yeah, that Just seems better. Just beyond their fetid lake, the ghosts are on the prowl. That was a little weird, but I like it. I got more cheese. I've got a, I got a lot of cheese. What the hell is going on? Why have we got no arrows? Oh, this guy got off his horse. Well, that was a mistake, wasn't it, Sam? Come. You can come and help me find Gunnar. Venice. He's a. He's quite heavy. Instead, let's let's take the horse instead. Come it. Come it. Come it. Much better. Let's try down there. Can I hear Gunnar? Oh, there are more locked doors. Because it looks like a locked door. Yeah! Good evening. Instead of night, you lie unaware. A terrible sight comes up from her lair. <laughs> A wicked sprite has come to scare. <laughs> all right, hmm. all right, you did cause a fright. Take Interesting a story. Forward. There are some uh, slightly anecdotal narratives of people actually dying through death from being disturbed by the Mary Lloyd, which makes this whole thing a lot more macabre. But you know, she seemed to handle it. Is that him? No. So I'm getting annoyed now. So. Can I push you in the water? Nope. There he is! Ah. So I think that's it. I think that is the Mary Lloyd. It's like sunlight now. I'm guessing we're done. Do I get to keep the, um... Do I get to keep the mask? No, I think we're done. Ah, that's the same. I'd have quite happily just stayed in it forever. But there we go. That was the Mary Lloyd in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Kind of cool. Um, not exactly. Not exactly what I was expecting. I don't even know what to expect. Um, weird pronunciation. That's fine. I think the core part of the tradition was, was pretty much there. Um, I don't know. Let's burn this guy for good measure whilst we're... How did, I, how did it miss? You're right there. No more fishing for you. Okay. There we go. So we'll just hang out like that. So that was... That was the Mary Lloyd. Um... And pretty cool. Again, I don't think I've seen an example of the Mary Lloyd in uh, a computer game before. Um, if you know of any examples, like, let me know. I think it'd be kind of cool. Let's take this guy for a ride. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll leave it there. That was the Mary Lloyd. That was fun. I would love it if we could keep the mask. That would be great. There were stories of people getting, like, stuck with the mask on them. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. They must have fixed that bug. I don't know what just happened then. Oh, this guy's <laughs> unhappy.